What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be my spoiler free review for Matt Reeves the Batman. Again, this is directed by Matt Reeves. It is written by Reeves as well who co-wrote the script alongside Peter Craig. This is starring uh Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, Paul Dano, Jeffrey Wright, John Tuchero, Peter Sarsgaard, uh Andy Serkis and Colin Farrell. So this film is again the first major solo Batman movie we've gotten I believe since the last installment in Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy and it's revolving around uh, Batman who this time is portrayed by Robert Pattinson Bruce Wayne during his second year of fighting crime Batman pursues the Riddler a serial killer who targets elite Gotham City citizens he uncovers corruption that connects to his own family during the investigation and is forced to make new allies to catch the Riddler and bring the corrupt to justice so this movie all in all i would say was something that i found to be very impressive uh i think a lot of people who are fans of me who watch my channel if you're because you know this is mostly a horror based channel there are some horror vibes here that i think a lot of you will appreciate if you decide to watch this iteration of the batman it's very dark it's very grim pattinson definitely made a believer out of me because i know there was a lot of doubt surrounding him being able to successfully portray bruce wayne or be a good batman he's very stoic in the role he's mysterious he's reserved menacing and made out to be a force to be reckoned with there's certain shots of him that definitely caught my eye more so than others specifically the shots of him with his cape flapping behind him and the close-up to his boots just help set a very grim heroic and unsettling mood when he arrives on the scene his voice also isn't that different when he takes his mask off this is just from what i recall but he's very mysterious in the role and captures that aspect of batman slash bruce wayne quite well in my honest honest opinion with very minimal lines when he's in the costume he's still a very menacing uh, commanding force when he's on screen the comic book lore is also there you have bruce's orphan status his parents death but i think the depiction here might be what's refreshing to a lot of people now to talk about zoe kravitz who i think does a tremendous job here with her iteration of the Catwoman. Uh, she's very seductive in the role, honestly. She's, of course, a very attractive individual. <laughs> Terrific chemistry with Pattinson, and she captures this emotional turmoil within the character uh, beautifully. They, if I had to describe the relationship they have together, because there's obviously that romantic interest. It's two broken souls that long for each other, but are restricted by their personal differences on how to seek justice against those that have wronged them. And I definitely need to talk about Paul Dano's Riddler. I can see this performance that he gave here being compared to Heath Ledger's Joker performance in The Dark Knight. Uh, he's very unhinged. He's disturbing. He's deranged. He's captivating. He delivers his lines in this calm but demented manner and commands your attention the entire time he's on. He's in this role. He's he just steals the scene every time he's in a frame. It's it's his movie when he's present, especially when he's even interacting with Batman. Uh, the psychological games that he plays with the character is very unnerving and unsettling to witness. Uh, and then, again, there's this interrogation scene in particular I'm thinking of that just send chills down my spine. And I would say this is a very well written villain. It's a villain who is hyped up a lot throughout the film. So then when you finally get to see him, it's been a lot of ex a lot of extended time with them. Uh, it's very it's a re it's a rewarding payoff. Uh, and again, horror fans, you're going to see elements of Jigsaw, I could say here, because because of, of the way it's handled, the film can feel at times like you're watching Seven or a Saw movie. And again, the psychological aspects are gripping as, as well, especially when Riddler again is interacting with the Batman. The overall aesthetic of the movie, the cinematography is gorgeous. It's a grim depiction of Gotham City. It sets that hopeless mood of the town that's that's captured and portrayed all throughout the film. The red lighting and crime filled scenery reinforces the political themes surrounding a change being necessary for Gotham and its inhabitants so that they may see better days ahead. Uh, I just have to say that this is an overall compliment to the detective angle that is very much so a big bulk of this narrative. And then just to jump into Michael G's score, this score heightens a lot of the emotions felt throughout while also striking fear and concern in the audience, much like Batman manages to do with his foes that he targets. He's the hero, but this score again speaks to that theme of using fear to defeat your enemies. It's a compliment to the shots of Pattinson as the Cape Crusader and drives home that mysterious barrier that Batman 
uh, seems to have with him everywhere he goes. And then certain scenes are more tense because of this score and it really just taps into some of those horror vibes at times as well because there's a lot of very suspenseful moments in this movie, specifically at the opening as well. The overall direction is superb and there are some tremendous shots that show off terrific visual effects as well as the practical ones. My favorite shots are definitely again of, of Pattinson in his portrayal of Batman while the Michael G score plays in the background while he's walking. It's just a very... Uh, one scene in particular is ha it happens after a chase sequence uh he's just very menacing in that role it's it's very scary at times honestly it's still batman you know he's here to help but pattinson does a great job and that score just only heightens it. it it keeps that mysterious aspect of the character intact and i love that so much uh the shots of Batman surveying the broken but beautiful city of Gotham, Gotham City on top of the buildings is also great. The camera movements, again, really just help create this tension and is maintained by Michael G's score. There, I would say there are some dull moments, but the action in between was thrilling and hard hitting for the most part. Uh, the, the script is fine. I, I think that certain characters could have been fleshed out a little bit more, but the theme, the themes are, again, are, are handled well. They don't feel... Uh, very forceful it doesn't feel like you're getting beaten overhead with them the theme of lying and truth is used to foreshadow events going on within bruce's life that have been hidden from him so i think the way they use that theme to tie them into the narrative points for batman were done perfectly while he's actively trying to solve riddler's crimes he's also solving lies within his own life that he wasn't aware of there's fantastic dialogue there's well-rounded characters my only true concern is that there wasn't enough riddler when we actually got Riddler, because he is just doing such a good job in that role he you can tell he's having so much fun and I can see the comparisons that are going to be made between him and Joker, even though they're two different Batman villains. I can see the comparisons just being made between two people who brought some great performances to these iconic villains. Uh, again, my only real concern was just some mishaps with the way the script was handled and in, in between with some downtime in the pacing uh, there are some dramatic moments that do feel overly dramatic for no reason just for the sake of being dramatic But I think this Noir style film or the Noir style is a great compliment to what they are trying to go for for the most part in this film I can't wait to see what they do in a sequel a follow-up the way the movie ends I think is going to be something that is going to have a, a few people split i wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of the ending but i think this movie was very good overall did i love it no but i think this is a great batman movie it was definitely something i'm just not used to seeing from this genre i'd have to give it an honest 8 out of 10 if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there is a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video